24 is equal to 6 plus 1. 7 square minus 6 minus 1. 5 square. So, 24 can be written as the difference of 2 perfect squares. 7 square minus 5 square. Is it clear? Take the next case. We can write xy is equal to 6. That is our second case. We took x value as 2 and y value is equal to 3. Or otherwise we can write 24 is equal to 4 into 3 into 2. I took x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. So what do you get here? 4xy is equal to x plus y whole square. x plus y gives you 3 plus 2 the whole square minus x minus y which gives you 3 minus 2 whole square. From this we get 24 is equal to 3 plus 2 5 square minus 3 minus 2 1 square. Is it clear? So we were able to write the multiple of 8, 24 as the difference of 2 perfect squares in 2 different ways. Similarly, we can write the next multiple of 8. Which is the next multiple of 8? 3, 8 are 24. The next multiple, 4, 8 are 32. So let us write 32 as the difference of 2 perfect squares in 2 ways. Ok. We are going to write 4xy is equal to 32. From this what can you write? xy is equal to 32 by 4 which gives you 8. Now to get 8 we can take x and y as 8 and 1. 8 into 1 is equal to 8. First case. Or otherwise we can write 4 into 2 which also gives you 8. Do you understand? Now let us write 32. Now you can write 32 is equal to 4 into 8 into 1 which is equal to compare this with the first case. 4xy is x plus y whole square minus x minus y whole square. So we can write 4 into 8 into 1 as x plus y whole square that is 8 plus 1 whole square minus 8 minus 1 whole square. So what do you get? 32 is equal to 8 plus 1 9 square minus 8 minus 1 7 square. Is it clear? Use the next idea. Again we can write 32 as 4 into here we have 4 and 2. So 4 into 2 that is equal to 4 x y. So we write x plus y whole square. For us x is 4 y is 2. So you get 4 plus 2 whole square minus 4 minus 2 the whole square. Ok. Otherwise 32 is equal to 4 plus 2 6 square minus 4 minus 2 2 square. In a similar way, we can write all multiples of 8. Which is the next multiple of 8? We wrote the answer for 24. Then we wrote for 32. Which is the next multiple of 8? Next multiple is 5, 8 are 40. So let us write 40 also in two different ways. Next we are going to write 4xy is equal to 40. From this we can write xy is equal to 40 by 4 which gives you 10. Product of x and y is going to be 10. So what are the two numbers? We can take x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 1. So that you get 10. Or otherwise let us take x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2. Then also we will get back 10. Now let us write 
40 as the difference of two squares in two different ways. So we can write 40 is equal to 4 into x and y. 10 and 1. Isn't it? So you get 4 into 10 into 1 which gives you x plus y whole square. That is 10 plus 1 whole square which gives you 11 square minus 10 minus 1 the whole square which gives you 9 square. Otherwise we can write 40 is equal to 4 into using these two numbers 5 into 2 that is equal to 5 plus 2 whole square which is 7 square minus 5 minus 2 whole square is equal to 3 square. Is it clear to you children? So our first part of the question all multiples of 8 starting with 24 should be written as the difference of two perfect squares in two ways. We wrote the numbers 24, we wrote 32, we wrote 40. Similarly you can write 48 also. Let me write 48 also. Without steps I will write 48 is equal to 4 into 4 into 12 gives you 48, isn't it? So 12 can be written as 12 into 1. Now we know 4xy is equal to x plus y whole square. That is 12 plus 1 whole square. 13 square minus 12 minus 1 whole square gives you 11 square. Another way of writing 48 is 48 is equal to 4 into 6 into 2 which gives you 6 plus 2 whole square that is 8 square minus 6 minus 2 whole square which is equal to 4 square. Hope it is clear to you. Let us discuss the second part of the question. Look at the second part of the question. In how many different ways can we write multiples of 16 starting with 48 as the difference of two perfect squares. We have to start with 48. So how do you do the problem? We equate 48 to 4xy. We have to write 4xy is equal to 48. 4xy equals 48. From which we get xy is equal to 48 by 4 which is equal to 12. Now what are the values of x and y? x can be taken as 12 so that 12 into 1 is equal to 12. Otherwise 6 into 2 is equal to 12. Or otherwise 3 into 4 also gives you 12. So we can write 12 in three different ways. Okay. Now let us write the answer for the question. In how many different ways can we write multiples of 16 starting with 48 as the difference of two perfect squares. So we can write 48 is equal to 48 is equal to 4 into 12 into 1 which gives you 4xy is equal to x plus y whole square. That is 12 plus 1 whole square gives you 13 square. 12 minus 1 whole square gives you 11 square. So this is the first way of writing 48. 48 can be written as 13 square minus 11 square. The second way of writing this is equal to 4 into 6 into 2. That is equal to x plus y whole square. 6 plus 2 whole square gives you 8 square minus 6 minus 2 whole square gives you 4 square. 8 square minus 4 square gives you 48. The third way of writing using the numbers 3 and 4. We can write 4 into 4 into 3. That is 4 plus 3 whole square. That is 7 square minus 
4 minus 3 gives you 1 square. So we can write 48 as the difference of 2 perfect squares in 3 different ways. Let us write one more number. The next multiple of 16. We started with 48. The next multiple of 16 is 4 into 16 which gives you 64. So let us write 4xy is equal to 64. Next step xy is equal to 64 by 4 which gives you 1 4 is 4. 6 4 are 24. We have to find two numbers whose product is equal to 16. So which are the numbers? We can take x is equal to 16 and y is equal to 1 so as to get 16. Otherwise let us take 8 into 2 then also you get 16. One more way to write. We can get 16 using 4 into 4. 4 into 4 also gives you 16. Now let us write the number 64 as 64 is equal to 4 into 16 into 1. This is equal to x plus y whole square which gives you 16 plus 1, 17 square minus 16 minus 1, 15 square. Otherwise, second way of writing 4 into 8 into 2. That is equal to 8 plus 2, 10 square minus 8 minus 2, 6 square. The third way of writing 4 into 4 into 4. That is equal to 4 plus 4. 8 square minus 4 minus 4, 0 square. So what did you understand children? We can write the multiples of 16 starting with 48 as the difference of 2 perfect squares in 3 different ways. Hope the idea is clear to you. Our exercise is over children. The next exercise we will start in the next class. Thank you.